you can see this has been uploaded right hello welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video i will walk you through the process of integrating google drive with appian which involves a few steps to get started and by the end of this tutorial you will have the knowledge to effectively integrate google drive into appian applications so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so first things first we need to set up the oauth credentials to obtain the client id and client secret for oauth authentication so to kick start the process you need to sign into your google account and access the google developer console okay i'll also mention the link in the description once you are here you will use this drop down menu at the top of the page to create a new project and the project which we are going to create is going to be the project which we will be working in okay if you can see here we have this button to create a new project just click on that and specify the project name okay i'll just name it as gd api okay and i'll keep the location to the default and then just hit create button to create your project remember it may take a few seconds of yours but once this is created you have to select the project go to dashboard now navigate to api and services then head to this library section to enable the google drive api here you can either search or just scroll down a bit until you find google drive api once you are here click on this and click on this button to enable the google drive api okay now you have to create credentials in order to create one you have to first configure the consent screen so navigate to auth consent screen select the user type as external then hit create button here you have to provide some necessary details which includes your application name user support email developer contact information and all of that before you specify your app name make sure to not use word google in your app name because for some reason it finds offensive and doesn't allow you to proceed further so be mindful of that here you have to provide your email okay this is the email which i am going to use and you can leave the app logo as this is not really mandatory then scroll down a bit here you have to provide the developer contact information which is going to be your email address okay once this is done click on save and continue you will be navigated to the next section that is scope which can be left as default just click on save and continue for now test user can also be left as default click on save and continue and in the summary section just scroll to the bottom of the page and click on back to dashboard now it's time to create oauth client id okay you have to go back in the credentials section okay and here if you can see we have this button for creating credential click on that and choose oauth client id you have to choose the application type which is going to be web application in our case and then provide some meaningful name i'll just name this as maybe credentials i can't think of any other name at the moment okay once this is done scroll down a bit and here you have to add redirect URA where google should redirect users after authentication so now let's go back to appian and set up a connection okay from this designer menu select the type of object you want to create it's going to be connected system in our case as we are going to set up a connection with a third party okay here you have to select the google drive and if you can see here here it says copy this redirect url and use it to register this connected system with the protected resource okay i'm gonna copy this and paste the same thing over here after pasting in the redirect url you have to hit this create button You can see auth client created. You have the client secret and client ID with you. All right. So now in Appian, we'll set up the integration with Google Drive using the auth credentials which we have just obtained from the Google Cloud Console. Okay. I'll just grab the client ID. Likewise, I'll copy client secret and paste in here. Okay. Make sure to provide some meaningful name to your connected system. Google drive cool after providing all of the mandatory inputs click on authorize button now you have to choose an account which you are going to use to upload your files okay 
so we are getting this access issue because it says this app is currently being tested and can only be accessed by developer approved tester so first of all we need to whitelist this user okay so for that you have to go back to this thingy and then go back in the auth consent screen section and just scroll down a bit and you have to add that user from which you are going to access the google drive okay here you have to add that test user Once this is done, click on save. You can see, right, this test user has been added. Switch to the previous tab and then go back. Choose an account. Now it says you have been given access to an app that is currently being tested. You should only continue if you know the developer that invited you. You have to continue. So now you have to select what you would want Appian to have access to. So it's up to you how would you like to proceed from here okay select all and i'll just click on continue this is done now you have to go back to appian designer done authorizing you can see it says authorization successful right now hit this use in new integration as we are going to create an integration right set up the security and click on save button select the operation i'm going to upload a file okay upload file and then create so once you are here you can browse your document which you want to upload to your drive okay i think i already have that document uploaded in appian environment whatsapp yeah it's there okay and then just click on test request it's a success now if i just show you whether it has been uploaded or not drive you can see this has been uploaded right yes so that's how it is working in the upcoming videos, we'll create an elegant user interface for uploading files to Google Drive. So that's pretty much for the day. If you want more such videos, please like my video, share it as much as you can. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.